Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at um, history taking of a post-op or postnatal case. Uh, we'll be looking at the 10 Bs and uh, some other things. So, um, history taking essentials. Identification, we're not going to go through that. Uh, so basically, you're going to uh, identify the patient using a few uh, questions and then how many days post op or post delivery these are three questions you should uh, you should ask the patient uh, in the start and also when you're presenting the history to a senior doctor uh, you should also uh, present these three things first so uh, how many days post op or post delivery what was the mode of delivery? Was it a C-section or vaginal delivery or uh, instrumental delivery? What was the indication for, let's say for C-section, what's the indication for in the C-section? Was it um, um, breach or was it um, preeclampsia or GDM on insulin? Or, um, Uh, placenta previa things like that so um, and then ask the 10 B's which we're gonna look at in detail and then also a few questions to screen for post-op care that has been given right so what are the 10 B's so these uh, 10 B's are actually from a doctor who taught me uh, Dr. Alice and then uh, adapted by adding one from Dr. Hassan, I'm spoiling. So let's just go through the 10 Bs here. So 10 Bs are listed here, you can read on your own. So I'm going to explain one by one. For bleeding, uh, it's basically any bleeding from, uh, so you've just done operation and or you have just give, uh, delivered a baby. So is there still bleeding from the operation wound in case of uh, c-section for example uh, in the abdomen is there any bleeding or is there any bleeding in the perineal area if it's a vaginal delivery okay next is uh, bottom belly and bladder bowel bottom is uh, the perineal area so you ask if there's any pain in the perineal area, whether episiotomy was done, uh, is there any pus discharge or any foul smell from the perineal area. And then uh, belly, is, is there any abdominal pain? Uh, bladder and bowel, is there any changes to your bladder or bowel output? Uh, or bladder or bowel habits after your delivery or after your surgery um, which is quite important to ask also when was the last time you voided uh, so when, when was the last time you defecated and when was the last time you urinated uh, did you actually have a defecation after your uh, surgery because uh, this is a good screening question for any obstruction that might happen after the surgery right uh, next is boiling boiling actually stands for uh, the high temperature which is fever you have fever which is a sign of infection so it's good it's important to screen for infection after uh, surgery or after delivery and then um, baby How's the baby? Baby blues uh, is uh, depression in mothers after giving birth. So uh, ask if you are feeling down or in BM, you ask if uh, they are feeling more wrong. And then after that, uh, breast. Mm. Oh, baby blues, you can also ask if they are eating or sleeping well. For breasts, uh, Ask about breastfeeding and also uh, breast tenderness. 
if there's any pain in the breast. And blood workup is uh, the blood tests that need to be done for the mother, uh, which is uh, FBC for anemia and also RH status, restless status after giving birth. And lastly is birth control. So you've just given birth, so what are your plans for contraception? Do you, are you planning to take any birth control uh, pills or any other methods for birth control? Right? Uh, so these are actually 10 Bs plus 1. Right. And then uh, and there's a way to organize it. So we split into two sections. Uh, this is what my friend taught me, so I'm just sharing with you guys. Um, for the 11 Bs that we had just now, we can separate it into mother and baby and mother's future. So under mother, you can ask, uh, you ask for bleeding, bottom, belly, bowel, bladder, boiling, right? Um, you can remember by I am grouping it together. So after you given birth or after surgery, uh, after giving birth, you got bleeding bottom. So your perineum is bleeding, and then um, the other organs that you want to check for the belly, bowel, and bladder, and then also very important to check for the temperature if they have any fever. So boiling. So you can think of it logically. So it's much easier to remember than a full list of things you can categorize so it's easier to remember right so then under baby and mother's future you have um, the baby baby blue so after you have a baby you have baby blues and then you need to breastfeed the baby and then um, after that you also need to do a blood workup and you need to plan for birth control right so you can remember in chrono chronological order so the baby is born, how's the baby? Baby, after you have a baby, you have baby blues and then you need to breastfeed the baby and then you need to do a blood workup and birth, do a plan for birth control, right? Um, also, um, the baby questions are not uh, applicable for all post-op cases. So if the post-op is, a, uh, let's say, uh, operations in obstetrics and gynecology, right? Uh, the most common in obstetric is uh, C-section, the operation. So if the operation is C-section, you can ask about uh, baby and mother's future questions. These are relevant questions. So a baby has come out, so how's the baby? And uh, baby blues, you need to breastfeed and all. But what if the operation is... Uh, um, gynecological operation, let's say it's a hysterectomy, removal of the uterus, right? So there's no baby, there's no baby bruise, so all these are not really relevant for other post-op cases other than C-section, cesarean section. So, uh, but you can still ask about all this. So is there bleeding from the wound? Uh, any pain in perineum or in the abdomen and important, very important bowel and bladder post-surgery and also fever. So these questions are still applicable and these questions uh, you don't not really applicable for other post-op cases, right? Which is a useful classification. And lastly, we're going to talk about uh, the screening of the post-op care that has been given. So ask if um, pain relief has been given. Definitely after uh, cutting the flesh is very painful. Or, uh, and yeah, pain relief is uh, really important. And then also prophylactic antibiotics. as part of post-op care so to prevent uh, any bacterial infections to the wound and also uh, anticoagulants which is uh, because uh, post-op or uh, after pregnancy there's a very high risk of uh, deep vein thrombosis 
so it's important to give uh, anticoagulants, right? So ask if all these are given, pain relief, antibiotics, anticoagulants, right? I think that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching.